Hey guys, this is Night Flame, and today, guys, I will be giving you a review on Constantine the Hellblazer DC one shot, or you can say preview, eight page preview. But, anyways, um, yeah, I will be reviewing the sneak peek and I will tell you guys my thoughts on you know this comic and if you you know my personal opinion on if you should buy it or skip it or you know completely just avoid it. But anyways, um, before the review, we have to credit the creative team. And the creative team is made of the writers, Ming Doyle and James Tinian IV, and artist Riley Rosmo, with my favorite colorist, um, Ivan Placencia. So let's see what I thought about the Hellblazer. So the comic opens up with um, this girl who's in a bar. And, um, you know, we suddenly she gets approached by... Constantine and we learn her backstory on why you know she's in this bar and why Constantine is even talking to her and we find out that she kind of made this deal with I guess she didn't make a deal with the devil but she contacted the devil to get uh, you know kind of this leather uh, from these you know creatures and she just did it to get that leather for her band and suddenly she was being um, you know I guess chased by these spirits because she never gave anything in return and she you know she was being haunted so uh, she seeked help and one person gave her this pick this guitar pick and uh, you know since whenever she has it around her it just she avoids these demons she doesn't have the demons near her so Constantine promises to help her but uh, he double crosses her and he you know, steals the pick from her and lets the monsters devour her. And that was, I thought, a big plot twist. Um, the, the monsters devour the girl and Constantine, you know, just leaves. And he's like, you know what? I'm not a hero. That's for sure. So he just leaves her. Uh, he sees maybe, you know, Constantine when he was in a band, which was crazy. And uh, yeah, that's it. It was just an introduction. Uh, he, Like I said, he leaves the girl to die and that's it. So that was Constantine the Hellblazer. Um, so what did I think about this comic book? Uh, I mean, this preview. Honestly, um, before, you know, this book came out, this is going to be a new number one. It's not going to continue with Constantine, the one we got before. Uh, Ray Fox was a great writer. He does an excellent job writing. I read Constantine, but it wasn't my thing. The art wasn't my thing. The writing wasn't my thing. It just, you know, it didn't do anything to stand out from the DC publishing line. So, um, Ray Fox, he did a pretty good run. Uh, there were some books that I liked. I liked his Shazam chapter when it tied into, um, what was it called? It was, uh, it was Trinity War. When it tied into Trinity War, I liked the chapter. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was an excellent read, this one, um, you know, in comparison to the other one, you know, I don't want to say anything against Ray Fox, he's an excellent writer, I love Gotham by Midnight, but I think this just is the Constantine I love. Um, it just completely changes the Constantine we got before, this one makes it different. You know, he shouldn't be in Justice League Dark because he does not like working with people. Uh, you know, Satana... His relationship with Zatanna was really cool, really interesting. I wish, you know, it got picked up on here. But um, still, I like him solo. I like how he double-crossed the girl. It just seems like typical Constantine, like the Hellblazer kind. Um, yeah, and the art is just perfect. The art, you know, I've been Placentia's coloring with just the art. It's amazing. I don't know. I was just completely impressed by the art by Riley Rosmo. And I like how DC is bringing in these, um, you know, talented artists to work with talented writers so um for constantine i gave a 9.5 i definitely think you guys should pick it up uh or you know at least try it but don't don't avoid this book this book has so much potential going for it uh dc looks like it found the perfect creative team to you know bring this book to life and bring back constantine you know the hellblazer that was popular you know before 1952 so great book 9.5 out of 10 and thanks for watching guys hope you like this video also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and have a nice day guys goodbye